Got it? One more clap. There we go. All right, let's see crap. Good. All right. Okay. And we're rolling on this, right? Okay, perfect. We're here with Stuart Wilson, who is the president of the Caribbean American Association of Lake County. And Stuart, we have here a little bit of dampness out throughout the day for the Caribbean Jerk Festival here in Claremont today. Tell me, with the rain putting a damper on things, right now we're looking to really get more monies to come on in. We want to raise money for the scholarship dollars here. And quite frankly, when we don't have good attendance at this event, then the scholarship dollars can't come in. It, it does impact. And so as I as I looked at the day here, it was a little bit disheartening when I saw the amount of rain coming. But I'm uh, I'm a believer that things happen for the good in the ultimate. And I think one of the good things in this is it's forcing us to think about how do we do an outreach to the community at large to be able to meet our needs. We plan to do it with the Dirt Festival. It didn't happen. So we would be looking for ways to looking at ways to increase our donation to make um, one make it easier to, to use our website. Go to calca.org and uh, and that would that would work. Uh, and, and and then making doing things to uh, do an outreach to the public so that they know that even though the rain had a dampening effect on attendance, it hasn't dampened our spirit in wanting to, to support the young people, either through scholarships or other means. We were looking at different ways, and, and, and to tell the truth, doing things to help people it does cost. You know, it, you'd like it not to cost a lot, but there's still some expense, and the more people you can help, the more effective you think you'll be. This event, the Caribbean Jerk Festival at the Claremont Waterfront Park is the main fundraiser for the Caribbean Association of Wake County. And so as such, as it being the, the main source of funding to come on in, with this putting the damper on it, if you have the community now listening to you, what would you like to say to them? I would I would say to them, I encourage you to donate and support because um, your donations are really a a legacy tool. If we, we are impacting our children today, preparing them for tomorrow, the better we can do that, the better prepared they are to deal with all of the stresses and challenges that are that are coming down the pipe. It takes money to make this happen. And so if people are able to, to support us with either donations or attending a jerk festival or attending of the, any, any of the other fundraisers we have during the course of the year, then it, it increases the likelihood we'll be able to achieve the objectives we're after. Um, supporting kids coming out of school, supporting the Lake Steel Orchestra, buying them new equipment, uh, supporting more children, um, providing other options for mentorship um, for, for, uh, for youngsters. We're trying to uh, figure out how, can, how best we can we use the experience of what is a relatively large number of retired individuals with, with professional backgrounds. How can we, what kind of programs can we put together to infuse youngsters and inform them about what's coming down the road? And, uh, a day like today uh, is a hiccup, is a, is a setback, but we want to step forward and think of innovative ways to have people donate and then uh, be sensitive to the money we get so that we make the best and most efficient use of that dollar. It's all about giving back to the community. That's what the Caribbean American Association of Lake County has done for the past 10 years and seven years with this festival just by itself. People that would come in, you pay $10 as an adult, $5 for children 14 and under. For those who were going to come today that could not make it today, please, if possible, dig into your wallets and into your hearts and donate those monies that you were going to give to the Caribbean American Association of Lake County. The dollars will go to help not only pay for the festival, but they go for the scholarship dollars for the students. We have today, being recognized in just about an hour here at the festival, uh, we have five students from three local high schools here in Lake County that last year's monies that were raised at this event are going to. With right now the weather hampering this year's event, this could technically affect the scholarships for next year. That's right. We, 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 will be, we will work to give scholarships next year. It may be fewer, but we would like to be able to support the five schools in, in, in the high schools in uh, Lake County. Uh, South Lake, Lake Mineola, East Ridge, Tiberias, and Leesburg are schools that we have in past.
advertised our scholarship program to and have it so it happened. We'd like to be able to give every one of those schools a chance for one kid, at least one kid to be supported. If you get the chance, please donate to the Caribbean American Association of Lake County for their scholarship fund for students here in Lake County to be able to go to college in the future. It's going to be calc.org, that's C-A-A-L-C.org. We'll also post that information on the screen as well. And Stuart, is there a phone number and an email address also you'd like for them to call? Uh, our email address is calc at live.com. You put me on the spot with a phone number. I don't have it. I don't have it uh, memorized, but we can get that for you. Yeah. Again, please donate. It is for a great cause. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts for anything that you can do for the students of Lake County. I'd like to thank you at this point for 